Business intelligence is the field of deriving insight from data and getting that into the hands of decision makers to help guide their choices. As the ability to work with data becomes more of a common skill, many users would like more direct access to interact with the data. This leads to the concept of self-service BI, where data can be prepared then accessed through low-code tools such as Tableau, Click, or even Excel by users to directly interact with the organization's data. What does this mean for data professionals? One marketing video said you don't even need IT anymore. Don't panic, let's break down the advantages to a self-service environment. A traditional approach to business analytics structure would probably look like this. The IT team, or BI analytics team within it, would control the data. When a user had a question, they would submit a request to the IT team to get a report with the answer. Developers with technical skills such as SQL, data warehousing, and data integration would be responsible for writing queries and building reports. There would be lots of back and forth between the users and the team to make sure the report fits their needs. The self-service approach is for the IT team to focus on integration and organization of data, usually in a data warehouse, and modeling that data into an easy to understand and access format. This could be a more simplistic approach, such as a data set or views in a schema accessible by users, or for a more robust approach, adding a semantic layer, such as a multi-dimensional model or modeling within tools like Tableau and Power BI. The users can then access the data made directly available to them to quickly find answers to the questions they have. The advantages of self-service is not having to wait on the IT team. These days, decisions often have to be made rapidly. Putting in a request, getting it scheduled, reviewing and reworking the report is time consuming. People have grown comfortable using data to make decisions in their real life. Think about all the dashboards you see in everyday life, your banking, electric bill, memes. Because of this, the traditional structure is not scalable. A team of a handful of BI professionals can handle providing analysis to a few executives, but not for hundreds of people. This happens in most companies, and the answer is often for business users to go rogue and try to gather their own data to do their analysis. There are some big challenges to overcome while adopting a self-service architecture as well. A more traditional company that has been doing requests to IT for answers for a while may not enthusiastically adopt a do-it-yourself approach. They may be uncomfortable with new BI tools, no matter how user-friendly they are, or worried they won't get the data right, or just overwhelmed by all the fancy sounding buzzwords and terms we love to use. Another challenge is inaccurate results. No matter how hard we try to provide clean, clear, and agreed upon terminology, some users will make mistakes or misinterpret field meanings using the wrong ones at the wrong times. Each organization will have to come up with their own QA process based on the risk reward of the occasional mistake to the value of more decisions being data driven. And probably the biggest challenge facing self-service BI these days is data security and privacy. After several years of high profile data breaches and data privacy concerns, this is a topic to take seriously and spend time properly structuring before allowing complete access to the organizational data. Determine what personal data is required to be viewed and by whom, and what can be abstracted to not show personal information. So what are some best practices to help overcome these challenges? Guiding the BI team from report writers to collaborative experts helping the business users build their own analytic solutions will be an important first step. Next is setting up data governance to help the business define consistent terminology, true sources of data, and what goes into calculations, while also supervising data quality and security. Determine what reporting should still be owned by the IT team. Not everything is suited for self-service. Regulatory audits, executive reviews, or client-facing reports may have more robust requirements around style, formatting, QA, and security that is better handled by the IT team. The biggest challenge is of course giving up control, but it's important to realize that modern organizations have to move at a speed faster than one team can handle, and if the burden isn't spread out across everyone, then decisions will not be made based on data analytics. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or learned something, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Stick around for more data content by subscribing to the channel or clicking a video on screen. See you in the next one.